Hi folks, we're going to continue our review here by looking specifically at binary ionic compounds. Okay, so those are made up of uh, two types of atoms, one metal cation and one non-metal anion. Okay, so the way in which we name these, so we're going to start with one where we're given the chemical formula and we have to name it. Okay, so pretty simple here. You take a look at the anion, which is lithium, and you keep its name as is. And then you look at the nonmetal anion, and you take its root word. So here we have oxygen, okay, and the root word here is just the OX, and you're going to add the um, suffix IDE, so lithium oxide, okay, and that's it. So once you have this scenario, you realize that it's ionic, metal, non-metal. Okay, so you're not using any prefixes, number one. Okay, there's no need to have any Roman numerals because lithium is not multivalent. Okay, and you're using the suffix IDE on the uh, non-metal, on the anion. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple there. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Say you're given the name, okay, and you have to determine the formula. Now again, I see calcium and I see phosphide, sounds like phosphorus, so metal, non-metal, okay. Now how do I know that this second one does not represent a polyatomic ion? That's because of the IDE. Most of our polyatomic ions, with a couple of exceptions, okay, uh, and in I-T-E, it or eight, A-T-E, okay? And the exceptions, well, the root word, something like hydroxide, which we'll see later on, we know can, refers to two different atoms, okay? So here, because I see the suffix I-D-E, I know that I'm dealing with a um, single type of atom, okay? So now what we have to do is determine how many of each we need. So one thing the name does not give us is how many of each we need. So we go on to our periodic table, okay? Uh, and the first thing we have to look at here is what the charges are. So we look at calcium and we see that the charge is plus two. And then we look at phosphorus and we see that the charge is minus three. So what I'm going to suggest you do is you indicate these under your names, okay? So plus two, minus three, okay? And we need a molecule that is, or we need a combination that is neutral. So if we took one of each, plus two minus three is not neutral. So what we're looking for here essentially is the lowest common multiple between these two numbers, which would be six. So that means I'm going to need three calciums, Okay, so to get a total charge of plus six, and I'm gonna need two phosphides to get a total charge of minus six. Okay, so three calcium, two phosphide. And so from here, I can now write the formula. So I've got calcium, okay, the number that I need is indicated as a subscript at the bottom, not at the top. So three of those, and I need two phosphides, so represented by P for phosphorus, because it's a phosphorus ion, okay, and I need two of those, again, as a subscript, okay? So again here, first it was determining the fact that this was going to be an ionic, okay, compound, okay? I don't see any prefixes, okay, plus the metal, non-metal, realizing that IDE does not represent a polyatomic ion, and then using the charges to determine the number of each that I need in my formula. Okay, that's it for these.